He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. We are coming to you live and in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. We are on show number 313. That's right, 313. As you know, the Gadget Professor show is heard in 172 countries all around the world, and I have you to thank for that. If you have a gadget, if you're a manufacturer or you know of a gadget that you want me to cover, just drop me an email anytime, 24 hours a day, at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. That would be thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. Dot com and I will answer all my email and if you even have a question or want to know about something email me and I definitely will get back to you it might not be that second but I will definitely get back to you and I welcome all the emails we have a great show for you today we got a lot of apps both for the uh, Android uh, operating system and for the iOS so you'll want to stay tuned for the apps cool gadget today uh, kind of an inexpensive gadget, but uh, a very cool gadget nonetheless. Let's take a look at this. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but uh, I'm going to call it the Zenvo lens, and uh, this is what it's composed of. Uh, you have a wide-angle lens and a macro lens, and we'll take a look at that, obviously, in a second. Uh, you get an instruction sheet here and uh, a little clip that uh, will show you how that works. It clips on to your... Uh, to your phone, it doesn't matter what kind of smartphone that you have, uh, this will clip onto pretty much everything. A really cool little gadget, I've never seen one of these. This is an actual flash, uh, and it plugs into your uh, to your camera, and uh, it will flash. It's kind of neat, used for the uh, macro uh, lens, and uh, it's kind of a neat piece. It's also rechargeable. Uh, I think right here you can see the uh, charging port and uh, this will charge up and uh, comes with a little uh, cable to do the charging and then on the side here you have a, an on and off switch so essentially what this is is it's a clip-on lens that will go over any smartphone that will give you both the uh, the macro effect that means the close-up effects and also the wide angle lens uh, very nice device but it's actually offered on Amazon it's relatively inexpensive it has a cost of uh, 33 bucks so as you can see here uh, this is a, a lens kit if you will and uh, it has a macro lens for close-ups and a wide-angle lens for those wide-angle shots and I'll show you some samples of that in a second uh, the, the device uh, essentially comes with this little clip here and uh, you're gonna clip this over your smartphone and uh, the lenses actually screw into this it's very well made there's no question about that and the lenses uh, seem like high quality optics uh, for what it is and uh, they're not cheap plastic they're glass as far as I can tell so uh, this is a, a macro shot uh, it shows you how the uh, flash hooks up. You can see the little flash uh, piece that just goes into the uh, headphone jack, and that will be automated. What I like about this is uh, you can actually see here there's a, uh, well, let's get on camera one here. Uh, you can actually see that there's a uh, uh, an on and off switch. I think you can see that. There you go. There's an on and off switch that you just turn it on and off, and it will automatically fire. So that's kind of neat. Uh, going back on the web page, uh, uh, this is the components, uh, if you will, that uh, are attached to this little uh, clip-on lens piece. And I like it because it's literally, uh, as you can see, just a clip, and it will adapt to any smartphone. So that's kind of nice. For $33, bucks, uh, you are getting a lot here. Uh, you can go into the specs. It's... Uh, uh, 0.5x wide angle lens captures more than 45% of the picture with every snap. Uh, it's a Claris 12.5 macro lens, uh, true grip lens, marvel uh, your senses, zoom in for breathtaking super close ups. Rechargeable fill light, which I said is pretty cool. Uh, that means you don't need batteries in that, you can recharge it up, it works great. Uh, you also get this little handy dandy case and actually a lens cleaner here, uh, cloth, and uh, a little clip that uh, you can clip onto your belt or your purse or whatever it is that you need and the lens and everything fits in there. The other thing that was kind of nice is uh, 
you got a video. There's a little flash stick in here. I haven't even opened it up. But uh, this is exclusively for Amazon folks who order from Amazon. And uh, it's a USB stick, and it's a video that gives you the details as to how to operate this. So let's take a look at what the components are and how it works. So as I said, uh, these are two lenses combined in one. Uh, it comes with a lens cap on the front, a lens cap on the back. You definitely want to keep track of these lens caps. You don't want to ever store these, even in your pocket, your shirt pocket, your coat pocket, your pants, whatever, without these caps on it because these lenses are delicate you scratch them and it won't be fun so uh, if you pull off the cap on the first one this is the wide angle lens and uh, I'm gonna pull the, I'm gonna unscrew which I think is a nice feature it just doesn't snap on and snap off you have to screw it I like that uh, that's your lens that's gonna screw into the adapter so essentially you have this uh, clip-on piece and uh, I'll show you this in a second it clips onto the lens and what happens is this lens actually screws in uh, very securely Securely uh, to this uh, clip, if you will, and uh, let's 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 do that. All right, so there it is, and uh, as I said, this will clip onto the phone. Let's take a look at the phone. Uh, I happen to have a, an iPhone 6, no big deal there, but uh, I'm going to clip this lens on, and it goes like that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it looks crazy, but uh, in my viewfinder now, uh, if I go to take a photograph, uh, I will see this in a wide-angle lens shot. And uh, I'm going to go into my camera right now. And uh, again, you're just looking behind me, but uh, there is a, a picture of the uh, studio here, wide-angle lens. If I pull this off, uh, there's a picture that's not wide angle. So again, it just takes a second to clip on and uh, there you go And it really it, it holds it's not gonna flop around or, or, or come apart. There's no question about that now to get the uh, close-up the macro lens uh, all you're gonna do is uh, unscrew this like so and There again is the uh, wide angle lens and now here is the macro lens and this is used for uh, for close-ups and we'll show you photos uh, right now as to what this actually will do again I'm very careful with this I'm not going to put it down on the desk I don't want to drop it and uh, I'm going to put the cover back on and uh, I'm going to put the lid back on here the cover case and uh, it's safe now uh, when I'm done with it once again uh, I am going to screw uh, this piece back on. Now, the thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to unscrew this uh, lens. I'm going to put the cover uh, back on this like so. Okay, so that's nice and neat. I'm not going to drop it. But when you first get this, uh, it comes with the plastic ring coating on it. And uh, you want to peel that off. And it comes on the back piece, this piece here. And uh, it's something that you definitely want to remove. Uh, it's just a little piece of plastic, and that exposes it to the nice rubber coating that's on here so you won't scratch your phone. So make sure that if you purchase one of these that you pull this plastic coating off the ring on both sides. It tells you that in the instructions, but I know a lot of you folks just buy these things and you don't read the instructions. I do that myself. All right, let's take a look at some of the photographs here. Let me get these up uh, so we can really see what this looks like here. I'm going to... Uh, uh, switch over here to the uh, actual photographs and uh, we are going to uh, let's see here we're gonna go full screen so here you go this is a photograph that I took without any of the lenses attached so this is just the photograph now what I want you to do is observe I'm gonna put the wide angle attachment on, on the next photo so you can see the cactus right there and you can see that I'm right at the edge and here we're about a foot or two feet past the a little fountain here so let's go to the next photo and now I have the wide angle lens on and all I did is just clip it on in two seconds now a couple things here uh, you can see that we were you know right on the border before with the prior photograph of the uh, cactus uh, and now you can see we've picked up probably 10 15 feet on the left side and also on the right side uh, you notice that the fountain was really close right there and now we've picked up again about 15 feet to the uh, right of that so clearly uh, the wide angle lens uh, gives you a wide angle view which is what you would expect uh, the other thing that you'll notice is in the other photograph uh, you didn't see the canopy right here and uh, you'll also know a curve 
curvature. You'll see a little curve here, and that's uh, that's uh, typical of a wide-angle lens. But you will notice the colors are nice. The sky looks nice. So let's go back. That's the photograph uh, right off the camera, and none of these are touched up. And that's with the lens out of the camera. And uh, now I'm going to go and uh, show you the photograph of the uh, wide-angle lens. And again, you'll see the canopy. So there's without it, and there's with it. And uh, clearly, you get a nice, vivid, crisp photograph. If I want to be real critical, if I want to be real critical, this is a tad out of focus right in there and right in there it's, and on this side. That could be for a variety of reasons. It could be that I wasn't holding the uh, camera straight and I had tilted it and I wasn't paying attention. And I suspect that's what it was. That's, that's my, my guess. Uh, let's take a look now at the uh, uh, close-up the macro lens, so uh, I'm going to go to the next photograph. That's the camera uh, about five feet away uh, from that cactus, and uh, no lens on that, and now I'm going to put the macro lens on, and uh, there you go, and I'm about a half an inch from the cactus. I got to tell you, this is a pretty decent photograph for, uh, uh, you know, two lenses for $39. Uh, this is nice and sharp and in focus. Uh, you can really see the needles on this cactus. Again, down here, it's definitely out of focus. And to tell you the truth, that could be me. I could have had the uh, uh, the lens tilted a little bit. I didn't have it perfectly straight and perpendicular to the cactus. I probably will go out and reshoot this, but for illustration purposes, uh, I think you, you will get a, a fairly good feel for uh, uh, without the macro lens and with the macro lens. So you can get pretty close, and uh, I'll tell you right in here, it's, it's very nice and crisp, and uh, pretty much like, uh, like anything else, uh, you want to experiment with the lens and uh, take a couple photographs. Uh, I didn't need the flash because it's really bright here in uh, Arizona, so uh, there was no flash used. Uh, the other thing that uh, is interesting, and they don't say anything about it in the instructions or the uh, video, but uh, if you'll notice the hole there, it basically goes over the back of the... Uh, the camera and it clips on and again there's a rubber grommet here so you're not going to damage the phone but uh right here uh i i think it's best this is my opinion to center this to visually look at this and if you can see it right now it's it's a little off center it's a little high so i think you're gonna i know you're gonna get better photographs if you center that hole you know eyeball it around the actual camera lens uh, on your phone uh, because if it's off, if it's not center, uh, you're going to have those focusing problems. It doesn't mention it, but that's my guess because I've been a photographer for many years. So when you screw the lens on, it's basically in the center of the lens. If it's off center, if you just put this on real quick like that, it's on there, the lens will screw into the adapter, no problem. But you will get things out of focus. So try to make sure that that is in the center like that. and. Uh, then at least you know that it's not a misalignment. Uh, the, the more center, dead center, this is adjusted to the actual lens, uh, the sharper and the better your photographs will be. So uh, that's just my tip to you and uh, something to observe. Because what happens is you put this on real quick and uh, you don't pay attention to that, but it is important. And I suspect that's one of the reasons why my photographs were off center or not focused crisp on the lower left uh, right hand side on both the macro and the wide angle side. Uh, the other thing is I'm sure you're going to ask is uh, will this fit over uh, the case if you have a case. So here's my case for the iPhone. Uh, I'm going to put the case on like so. So that's it. And uh, yeah, it will. This will actually uh, clip on over that. And again, I'm going to center it. And uh, there you go. These lenses are not heavy. Uh, so you're, you don't have to worry about it sliding. So in my case, no pun intended, uh, this does fit over the case and you can use it. The other thing that I'll tell you is if you have a case and you see this is off center, that this is lifted high on one side and low on the other side, it will put your picture out of focus. There's no question about it. So again, when you're putting this on, you want it centered where your lens is over your camera. I don't care what kind of phone you have. And two, you want to make sure that this part is flush, that it's not raised high on one part or low on the other or side, left, right. That's very important. So uh, other than that, uh, 
those minor adjustments for $39 I think you'll be very 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 happy with uh, with this lens kit and uh, again you can get this on uh, Amazon it's uh, $32.99 we'll call it 33 bucks and uh, works pretty good uh, I will probably in the next day or two uh, take some more photos and we'll take a look at uh, at those uh, maybe in future episodes. But right now, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. It uh, gets four and a half stars from 555 customers and uh, it probably makes a great gift for uh, a friend or a college student or even a high school student, uh, anybody who takes photos with the phone. It does add a lot of capability. All right, let's take a look at, uh, at the next, uh, at the apps. Actually, before we take a look at the apps of the day, uh, this is a gadget that uh, is coming out. It's not out yet, but I got to tell you, it looked really, really good. This is the device that's going to convert your old film SLR camera, and I'm sure everybody has them laying around in their closets or in their basements with the 55 lenses. Uh, uh, your old SLR camera it will be converted now to a digital camera with a device that's going to be called the Digipod. And uh, I got to tell you, in terms of really cool gadgets, uh, this is something I'd be very interested in seeing. I'll put the article in the show notes, but uh, I got to tell you, it's a little piece that's going to have a sensor in it. It's on Kickstarter now, and uh, this gentleman's trying to raise uh, $307,000, call it $308,000, uh, to get the prototype done. Uh, the goal is uh, going to be around 370 bucks uh, a, a piece to buy one of these units. Uh, $310 for early backers of this. Uh, the model that he's working on now comes with a two th thirds inch sensor. Uh, I think he's going to need a bigger sensor than that, like a four by three inch at minimum. But again, it's, uh, he's going to need 5,000 people to, to contribute to this to get this thing built. Uh, and they're hoping it's going to happen over the next 40, 45 days. Um, it's a great idea, and uh, it's like anything else. It's in its embryonic stages, and uh, it's just a matter of time before this gentleman comes up with it or someone else, but that will be a real killer. I mean, that's going to be a cool app because uh, I used to use the uh, Minolta system, and I know... Uh, I have a, a camera bag. I have about 20 lenses. Uh, it was an expensive system back in the day, and it's just sitting in the bag. And uh, for me to even convert the lenses is uh, very costly. And uh, when you get into converting a Minolta lens into a Nikon lens uh, uh, for digital, it, it gets pretty crazy. So uh, needless to say, it's sitting in the bag, and I'm just waiting for a device uh, to come out like this. Uh, it will uh, put life back into a lot of gear that's just been sitting. Uh, plus the fact you can buy these cameras now for uh, uh, a penny on the dollar, uh, some of these old lenses, and uh, they're great. There's nothing wrong with them. So, okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, apps of the day. Uh, the first one is an excellent app, very, very cool. Uh, this is called Car Camera DVR, and uh, this is available on the iPhone as an app, and uh, essentially you're going to make your car... Uh, instead of buying the unit that you know records everything on your car, you know your your car DVI, your dash cam as they call it, this is going to do it for you right on your phone. So you'd put the uh, you'd mount your uh, uh, your 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 phone, your smartphone on the windshield, and uh, you're going to turn your iPhone or iPad Touch into a full featured DVR recorder at a fraction of the cost because this is four bucks, and uh, it will do everything you want to do. Uh, it, it has a great uh, website. Uh, we can take a look at that. Uh, here's the uh, car camera app. It's called by. It's made by App Onyx, Annex, and uh, it shows you all the things: audio recording, compression. Uh, we'll do high def recording. Put your coordinates. The whole bit. And uh, whenever you commute or go to work, uh, go on a road trip or a race or on a racetrack, uh, the car camera is your ideal companion. It's going to record high-definition videos while you drive with embedded data about the time, the location, and the speed. Uh, export recorded videos to use as evidence in a case of a ticket or an accident. And I hope no one gets in an accident. Or just share this with your friends if you see something interesting on the road. So, uh... Uh, there you go for four bucks if you have an iPhone. Great, great app for an old iPhone. You know, that's just sitting there. 
uh, as long as your operating systems are up to date. But uh, for four bucks, uh, it beats spending a couple hundred bucks on a dash cam. At least I think it does. All right, let's take a look at our next app. This is called Maps in Motion. Uh, I do use this, and what I use it for is I never could find my car anymore when I park it, you know, especially in Arizona. Uh, the parking lots here are typically free, and there's like five, six, seven floors, but they're not marked. You know, you get floor B, but the, the floor is huge. So uh, I use this app, and uh, if you need directions or a location, you want to know which direction you're going and how far you're, you are from your destination, here's what I like. If you want to uh, find your car, basically you mark it, when you get out of the car and this will tell you how to return to your starting point easy enough uh, you'll always know where you are and where you're going uh, locate important places mountains beaches near or far away yada dada dada uh, it has some really unique features uh, it's two bucks cheap enough and uh, as I said I use it and it's a great car marker it it works flawlessly all right this next app is called tiny month and uh, to me, this is a lifesaver app. I've been using this for a while. What this will do is it will automatically take your calendar and it shows everything that you need to know, all the detail that you put in. Instead of just seeing a dot and doctor's meeting, uh, as you can see here, it gives you all the detail, you know, name, place, where you're going, what time. And uh, it's called Tiny uh, Month. And the beauty of it is it just shows you all the, the pertinent information at one glance, tiny month. And uh, check this out. It's really good. It's two bucks, cheap enough. And uh, I use it every day, and I don't want to be without this app. I really like it. And uh, also, if you click on it, it will bring up the day, as you can see here, with everything that's going on in detail, opposed to the other uh, way that it views on, on the iPhone. So I like that. Now... Everybody knows that uh, the Gadget Professor uh, definitely has problem, problems going to sleep and staying asleep. Been like that forever. So I'm always interested in sleep apps, not sleep apnea. I already have that. But uh, this app is called uh, Relax and Sleep, and uh, this app is free. And uh, you can choose from 50 unique sounds, rainstorms, uh, uh, and then you can adjust the storm for more rains or less rains or seagulls or uh, uh, a ship's horn or a beach or a pond, whatever you want. Uh, it gets 4.3 out of 5 stars. Excellent, excellent app. Uh, I like it. And you also can uh, tweak uh, each app to, as I said, give you louder, softer, more birds, less birds, whatever you want. It has a clock, so you can set it to be on for like 30 minutes or 30 hours, whatever it is that you like. And uh, it's a very cool app. Definitely, definitely check this out. You're going to like this a lot. Now, here's an app that I think a lot of people will be interested in. Uh, this is for the iPhone, and it's going to protect your data uh, uh, from other people seeing your photographs because the photographs are typically time stamped and uh, you can just put the photo up someone could look at the uh, what's called the EXIF information uh, by clicking on it with a particular piece of software and it will see the time, the date, where you were, the location, uh, coordinates, uh, longitude, latitude. So by you innocently innocently putting up your photograph uh, you may not realize that you're giving out all this information in your EXIF. So uh, what this will do, if you want uh, to protect your privacy and uh, the data of your phones, uh, add this new location app, and uh, it will basically strip it of all that uh, ID location information. Very interesting app, and uh, I think a lot of people may have use for it. Uh, ch check it out. Uh, here's another app uh, that I like. Again, it's regarding... Uh, storms and, and, and sleep. Uh, this one is probably the best one that I've seen so far. Uh, it's Relaxing Stormy App Sounds. And uh, what's nice about this one, it gives you a, a background uh, that a lot of the other ones don't have. And uh, there's a lot of sounds that you wouldn't typically get on your typical app. Uh, this app is free at the moment. There's a, a non-professional and a pro version. It's only, uh, I think, a buck or two for the pro version. And what that does is it gives you like 30 more sounds. So if you're looking for one app to put on that uh, gives you relaxing sounds, it also calms down screaming grandkids, which I like. So uh, check this out. Uh, they make a couple different products. This one's made by Adam Ware. Not Adam Aware, but Adam Ware. And uh, it's called Infinite Storm. Now, Here's some apps uh, 
that are primarily for the uh, Android system. This one I like, it's called, it's a keyboard messaging platform and uh, it basically will secure or encrypt your messages and you can write uh, securely to any Twitter, uh, read it, uh, Reddit, I'm sorry, Facebook, uh, GitHub, and Hacker News users. Uh, you can all use this. You don't need to have someone's phone number or email address. All messages are secure, end-to-end -end encryption, which is really nice. And uh, multiple device, your message will survive and transfer with encryption to new photos and new computers. Uh, it does a lot of things. This is totally free. So if you're in a situation where you want things encrypted, uh, if you both put Keybase on the phone, uh, this will do it. This app will do it, and it's totally free, and it's used by a lot of people. So check, check that out. Now, here's another app that uh, you definitely want to put on your uh, Android system. Uh, it's called Firefox Focus. Uh, we've talked a lot on this show about privacy. Well, Firefox Focus is made specifically for the smartphone, and uh, you're going to browse. No one's going to be watching it. The new Firefox Focus automatically blocks a wide range of online trackers. Uh, from the moment you launch to the second you leave it, easily erase your history, passwords, and cookies, which is very important. And uh, you're not going to get unwanted ads because they've read your cookies, things like that. It's a very comprehensive, very well-built app. 4.5 stars out of 5, that's pretty good. So if you're not using Fire, F Firefox Focus uh, on your Android uh, operating system on your smartphone, definitely uh, install this and uh, you will like it. If you don't, you can always install it. Not a big deal with that, right? Now, uh, if you ever do any audio editing, again, primarily for the Android system, this is called Timbri. Uh, this will allow you to cut, join, and convert audio and video files. So if you ever were in the market to uh, convert a song from one format to the other or a video format from one to the other, this is definitely the app you want to use. This is totally free, and uh, it got uh, 4.6 stars out of 5. So uh, this app is, is, is pretty much free foolproof and uh, any kind of audio sound that you have if you want to convert it uh, this is the app to use it's called uh, Timbri this will cut join uh, edit and uh, convert uh, your mp3 files for sure and uh, check it out check it out you'll, you'll like it and now the last app of the day uh, is called wrap up and if you've ever had to record a meeting or a conversation and uh, you need to go in and edit it or you need to search on a keyword like contract if that's your keyword this is the app that you'll want to use uh, you can record everything and you're also able to mark a particular area while you're recording so if you're in a conversation or you're recording a lecture and they get into a specific part that you want to mark you just tap the button and it will mark it and then when you're finished recording you can go back and see where that uh, marker is or markers and it will take you right to where you want great for medical lectures if there's particular areas that you want to highlight or particular state particular statements from a doctor or a, a, a keynote speaker uh, this is a great app and uh, definitely check it out you could flag important moments uh, to create highlights in real time you can add notes to the highlights you can tag the actions upload them to a cloud this also comes with free storage so a really really nice app it has calendar integration uh, high quality audio processing uh, there's nothing on this app uh, that you're going to find lacking that i can guarantee you so that's going to wrap it up today for the gadget professor show thank you so much for tuning in i'll see everyone next week <laughs>The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.